Hi everybody. So we have a discussion question asking what is i in this this for loop, and uh, instead of giving a long answer, I thought I should make a video about it. That's easy for me. So uh, I'm create, we are creating a turtle, and then we have in a for loop for, where i starts from index starts from zero to three, and the condition is we have a list as counter, and the list items goes from zero to three. Then we move the turtle forward for fifty, and then we after each forward, we ask uh, the turtle to turn left for 90 degree. That's it. And uh, I have my written this on uh, Python. And let's try to uh, run this file. If you run this file, it will make turtle. It will just draw square, which is exactly what is to ask. And I'm going to want to close this window right now. And uh, so, I I the value of i will go from 0, 1, 2, 3, which is just uh, four values. And this is uh, we saw that it is creating a square. So a square has four sides. After after drawing each side for 50, it turns left for 90 degree and takes go. So i value of i will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So just as counted, it is four types uh, sorry four uh, counts and uh, you can also see here so it has four and there the uh, turtle stops so the value five nothing here just four and it is a counter kind of it goes from one zero to one so it's one two three and four four sides let's uh, just uh, I'm because I'm making a video so let, let's just play around with this I will close this one. I don't want to close this. And uh, let's say I want to put this for loop in another for loop. So I will say for I will use another variable j in range. I will say range, and I know that range takes a stop value, or it can also take from start to stop and step. I'm all using the start from st uh, stop so I will start from one and I want to go it to let's say 100 and that's why I for loop colon and I hit enter it asks me to set the indentation I set the indentation for this for loop also and after each so not, right now what is doing is for loop is it will create 100 squares but after each each square I want them uh, total to move a little bit more so I'll say Alex dot left and I say I want I want to give it some angle to this I will say let's say 25 after drawing each square it will turn a little bit uh, 25 degrees more that's all I want and it will after that it will cl close on when I exit so let's control s for saving and f5 for run so see after each drawing a circle uh, drawing a square it turns a little bit and draws another square and it creates a really beautiful pattern here kind of a flower you can play around with this more if you want you can create uh, more for loops or you can create the same flower again and again you can even change the color whatever you want so that's all about it and uh, let's keep it running and I can show you the code again so I'm just creating a for loop inside another for loop and uh, it runs, uh, draws a square and after drawing one square it moves a uh, 25 degree more towards left and draws another new square. I can use uh, more than one for loops or I can use uh, this for loop again and again to create a, uh, this kind of flower or, or here or here or I want to again do this. So hopefully you enjoyed this or you find out what the value of i is. i value of i here is nothing else but a 
counter from which start from 0 to 3 which is just four items thank you everybody